Okay, it's Wednesday. Time for a little Westwood Wednesday wildness, wackiness, wisdom. I don't know. Now's the time as cryptos are starting to go up again. They're starting to ramp up. Excitement's being built. People are starting to come into the crypto space. How do I buy cryptos? Where can I get crypto? How do I buy Dogecoin? Now, it's a good, you know, it's always a good reminder. You know, I beat this dead horse, but when you download a wallet onto your phone, whether it's an Exodus wallet, an Atomic wallet, a uh, Coinomi wallet, you know, a numerous wallet, Trust wallet, Edge wallet. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. When you download them, you're going to be presented with words, usually 12 words, sometimes 24 words. And you need to write those words down in order. Those words are the key to your virtual safety deposit box because that's what you're creating when you download that wallet and you create and you get those seed phrase that's what they call it seed words when you get those words presented to you those words are the key to your crypto everything you put onto that wallet that's the key those words in that order never ever lose them very important now most people write them down don't ever screenshot them because then it's digital and if you upload it somewhere if it's on your phone it gets hacked it's somewhere somebody can restore that wallet on another phone. So you can have, you know, the same wallet on multiple devices. It's just when you interact with it and authenticate to it and make a transaction, it goes out to the blockchain, makes the transaction. And so you can do it on one device. The other devices don't know anything about it until you open it up. Like, wait a minute, where'd my Bitcoin go? So you don't want to lose that seed phrase because you can create that wallet or that key to that safety deposit box on the blockchain. You can create that on another device if you have those words. Very important not to lose those. Again, think, you walk into a bank, never recommend this at this point, but you walk into a bank, you've got a safety deposit box. You've got a key. Sometimes you have to have two keys, but you've got that key. Say there's only one that exists. And if you don't have it, you're not getting into that box and the bank's not going to let you into that box. So you need to protect those seed phrase, those, those words, very important. And I, you know, again, that's probably the most important thing. Protect those, write those down. Now there's little devices now, or I shouldn't say devices, but little metal cards where you can slip the seed phrases into it and they're stainless steel, fireproof, you can run them over. And you can store your seed phrase in that in case of a you know a physical event. You know, if you have it on a piece of paper it can burn up, then what do you do? You can memorize that seed phrase. You know, another thing you can take, um, I mean you can come up with infinite ways to to um, have that seed phrase. You know, you can put half of it over here in one book, half in another book, or put put it, you know, I don't know, you know, create a treasure map to the different words. There's a lot of ways to do it. The key is, however you do it, don't ever lose it. Because Let's say something happens to you. Let's say it gets, you know, wiped out. How are you gonna restore that wallet? That wallet, those coins that were in that wallet are gonna be sitting on the blockchain forever, unable to be unlocked. It's as though you lose your key to the safety deposit box and you die. How do you get into it? Well, you're not gonna get into it. How do your kids get into it? How do your relatives, you know, your next of kin, how do they get into it? It becomes a problem. So you don't ever want to do that. Um, very important to write those seed phrases down. I know, I know I'm know, i harping on it, but it's very important. At that point, um, you know, you've, you've kind of secured your wealth. Um, very important because you are becoming your own bank. There's nobody that's gonna back you up. You lose it, it's gone. And there are numerous stories of people losing their cryptos. Don't be that person. Um, if you need to buy, you know, you can write that seed phrase down in multiple places and store them in multiple places. Uh, bury them in the ground, you know, whatever you have to do, put them somewhere safe where you put important papers like your social security card or something like that, you know, or memorize it, you know, memorize it. And, you know, that's, that's make a little mnemonic out of it, you know, so you can remember it, you know, like, um, uh, Napoleon, Abel was I, uh, air I saw Elba. The island of Elba. So, you know, there's different, you know, palindromes, you know, and there's different mnemonic devices that you can use. PEMDAS, you know, in math, you know, Roy G. Biv, you know, for the rainbow. 
So, you know, think of things like that, but you're on your own. That's the key with crypto. And I would rather have it that way rather than trust a bank right? because you see what they do. Uh, you see the activities they engage in. You see what kind of interest they pay you for putting your money into that bank and then go and try and take a, a not even a large sum for some people, but say, you know, you've got your retirement in there. Somebody's got $50,000, you know, sitting in a bank. They want to go take out $10,000 cash because they want to buy a used car. Go try and do that because you throw up a red flag at that point. Even less than that at some banks. I went to a bank, I sold a house, wanted to get my LASIK, my eyes done, and it was like $3,500 or $3,000, something like that. Just sold the house, check went in. I'm like, I'm gonna take some of that profit and I'm gonna get my eyes fixed. So I did that. They couldn't give me the cash. I mean, it was such a struggle. Oh, well, we might have to have you go to another branch or, you know, a lot of times they'll say, well, you can, you can order that money and we'll have it here two, three days because what they then do is the regional federal reserve bank, they'll get the money from them. See, they don't have the cash in the bank. So if you think your money is sitting in a bank where you go in and make your deposits, you think that cash is in there to back it up? It's not. It's all digital. The money's all digital anyway. So if you're having any problems right now, if you're just getting into crypto or thinking, you know, I, do I wanna dip my feet into the crypto pool? Listen, it's already digital. You're not holding it now. There's nothing to back it up. See, we're at a point now where some people used to, oh, yeah, it's backed by gold, right? No, it's not backed by gold. It's backed by silver, right? No, it's not backed by silver. It hasn't been for a long time. It's not even backed by the paper. The Federal Reserve note, which is not even a US dollar, you know, look into that whole disaster. It's it's nothing. It's just, cre it's a debt note created out of nothing. And there's debt attached to it. So we're in a Ponzi scheme at this point. So they don't even have those that paper money, that paper currency to back up what you put in. So you go to work, you know, you use your energy, your labor, you take time out of your life, you know, you're killing yourself and you get paid something, then you go and put it into this bank and they don't even back it up. It's just digital. It's just, it's just their word. It's the word of the government. Hey, we'll insure it up to $250,000. And what they'll do is you'll, they'll just create more digits and deposit it into your account. So there's no physical thing backing it up. The money's not there. Again, try and withdraw a considerable amount of cash. And uh, if it's $10,000, like I said, you're gonna have to fill out a form. You're gonna have to say what you're using the money for. I mean, because it triggers all kinds of anti-money laundering, this and that, you know, all this garbage, which is just a fraud anyway. But it, um, yeah, it puts you on the radar. And it's your money. Or is it? So, since everything's digital, if you're afraid to dip your toe into the crypto pool, don't be. Because now you are controlling that money. You are that bank. No one's asking you if uh, you know, you're know you using that money for a legitimate purpose when you decide to send Litecoin, Bitcoin. You're doing that wallet to wallet. You know It's its own separate network. There's a Bitcoin network. It does its own thing. It's not asking for permission. There's a Litecoin network, same thing. It does not ask for permission. So as you become your own bank, secure it. Like the old days, you know, the big vault, you know, it was locked up. Nobody could get into it, bomb proof, that kind of thing. Do that with your seed phrase. Lock that up. Do not lose it. Very important. And as you get into crypto, um, there are different ways to acquire crypto basically for free. You know, look at the Fold card. And the Fold card is something where if you buy gift cards or if you get their debit card, you can load up that debit card and on every purchase, you can get Bitcoin back. Might be a little bit, might be a lot more. Um, I made a purchase yesterday and paid a bill. It was like $380. And I got $14 in Bitcoin back on that purchase. So, you know, it's a bill I would have paid anyway. I got $14 in Bitcoin. That accumulates. You know, if you're going through the drive through somewhere, use the card, get a little bit of Bitcoin back. And so you do that on a daily basis and, you know, pay your bills through that like you ordinarily do. And then you earn Bitcoin back. Lolly is another good one. If you're on the uh, Apple iOS platform, download the Lolly app. And that app, every day you have the chance to, you know, you just click. Same with Fold. You can spin a wheel every day and get Bitcoin. You know, a chance to win Bitcoin. Um, Lolly, the same way. Every day, 
you click a daily stack, I think they call it, you know, stacking Satoshi, stacking sats. A Satoshi is the smallest unit of a Bitcoin. So anybody, you know, doesn't know that. Satoshi Nakamoto was the developer of Bitcoin. So the smallest the Bitcoin is a Satoshi. So you've got um, Lolly and you can get Bitcoin every day and it accumulates. So those are two good ways to do that. And with Lolly, you can shop at stores and like Chewy.com, it's like four and a half percent back in Bitcoin. So if you spend $100 on Chewy.com using the Lolly app or extension, you know, in your web browser, you get 4.5% back. You get $4.50 in Bitcoin back. I mean, see, this all adds up. If you were doing this two years ago, that Bitcoin now has gone, you know, four times, five times. So that $4.50 now becomes 20, 25 bucks in Bitcoin. So... Those are easy ways. The Cash App, if you uh, download the Cash App, they have boosts. And those boosts, uh, every day it's something different. Like it's Chewy.com, 10% off, I think this week is one. Sometimes you'll be able to get, you know, 5% back in Bitcoin on a purchase. You know, it ends up being a maximum of $7.50 in Bitcoin back. Sometimes it's a 3% Bitcoin reward. But the thing is, it's a debit card. And you get the debit card, I think it's free. And it's cool because you can customize on the debit card. You want to draw a little picture on it or your name or, you know, your website. And, you know, it's kind of neat. You can do that for free. And so, and that's Cash App. And you can buy Bitcoin directly on the Cash App on your phone. So, you know, you can, uh, if you look at Bitcoin, say, hey, you know what? I want to put about 10 bucks in, 20 bucks in a week. You can do that very easily on the Cash App. So, time to get to work. So those are some easy ways to earn Bitcoin and to get Bitcoin back for just making daily purchases. And uh, the key is, and you can take those off of those platforms. You take the Bitcoin off of those wallets and put it into your own you know, secure wallet that you created with your seed phrase so that you are possessing it. And so that's that's the nice thing. And then PayPal, you know, if you're on PayPal, you can buy Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash, and you can't withdraw it off there yet but you're going to be able to in the future is what they say. And then very soon in this first quarter of 2021, you're going to be able to pay with that crypto at all of their merchants, the PayPal merchants. So, you know, it goes up and you say, you know what, I'm gonna pay for this with my, uh, you know, with my Bitcoin or Litecoin. So it's becoming very mainstream. Don't be afraid to get into it. And the best way to learn is to, and don't think, oh, I missed out. I missed out $10 Bitcoin. I could have bought that years ago. $100 Bitcoin. I should have bought it. $1,000 Bitcoin. $10,000 Bitcoin. Now it's 40 plus thousand dollar Bitcoin. You know, there's never a good time, an ideal time to buy it, you know, to where, oh, okay, this is, you know, I'm really getting a good deal on it. You just, you just need to buy it. And again, you can put 10 bucks into it. You know, you can go to a coin flip ATM, put $10 into it, put $20 bill into it. And you put your wallet up your code put the $20 bill in it'll scan it and it'll send it to you and you walk away very easy way to buy cryptocurrencies um, I've got a link to um, coin flip you save 10% off the transaction fees and in, um, you know it's below here and there's a code that you can use when you go you just type it in it's C West and then a, two numbers after it it varies by month and uh, you know February of this month, you know, or this year, February, I think it's C West 37, but I put it below. And you save 10%. That's more Bitcoin. It's more Litecoin. It's more Link. It's more, you know, whatever you're buying off the coin flip ATM. So take a look at that. Um, Lolly, I think I have links for Lolly download, the Cash App. Um, you know, any links are down in the description. You can always go to my website, clintwestwood.net, and I have links to all that stuff. And a lot of times, I think with the Fold card, the Fold app, if you download it, you get 20,000 Satoshis just by signing up and using that link. I don't get anything. I just, you know, increase my number of referrals, you know, so sometimes when I make a purchase, I spin the wheel and it'll have like so many times my referral number and I'll get extra Satoshis because of that. But I get nothing directly. You get 20,000 Satoshis, which is decent, you know, just for signing up. So... You know, the lesson is protect your wealth, 
get your wealth into a sound economic system, uh, one that is not going to be inflated away and the cost of everything is going to go up accordingly. Get yourself into a new digital system where there are limited assets like Bitcoin and Litecoin and they're going to eat that dirty money. They're going to eat those old Federal Reserve notes because they're going to be printing all this money and it's going to go into the, the real sound assets like Bitcoin and Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies. So protect those, your seed phrase, take care of it. You can go to, I think, safepal.io and then uh, Bill Foddle. They have those little metal where you can put your seed phrases in it. It's indestructible. Go check that out even. You know, you know if you've got a lot of money and, you know, stored up, you want to protect that seed phrase because that's your key. You don't want that destroyed. So look at those things. But uh, just do your own research. You know, look at those things. I'm just throwing out some ideas, you know, some things I use that, uh, you know, work for me that I do like. Other things I don't like, so I don't talk about it. But uh, those things are pretty good. And protect those, protect those words. Be your own bank. You know, put your energy into something that's going to hold value because the U.S. dollar, the Federal Reserve note, does not hold value. So take a hard look at cryptocurrency, the solid ones. Bitcoin, Litecoin, I like Digibyte too. And, um, you know, be your own bank. Take control of your life. And, uh, you know, I think you'll be glad you did. It's never too late to get in. It's never too late. You don't need to buy a whole Bitcoin. Just buy a fraction of a Bitcoin. Put as much as you want into it, much as you can afford. And instead of, you know, going out to dinner, you know, for Valentine's Day and spending, you know, $100, you know, doing, every, you know, buying a big dinner, you know what? Maybe make something at home and take half of that money and throw it into cryptocurrency. I, I don't think you'll regret it looking back. So make it a habit just um, pay yourself first and uh, you know what love you all thanks for listening and I hope you all have a great day